Hi everyone, welcome to this episode. As part of this episode, we will try to see couple of information about databases and tenants concept in SAP HANA. So as you are aware, this database and tenant concept is there from very long time, but uh, maybe we were using a uh, different terminology. For example, if at all uh, you are an uh, SAP consultant who are there in the industry from fa past 5 to 10 years, you might have noticed uh, that even in SAP ECC 6.0 or BW 3.x or BW 7.x version or even in SAP R3 4.6c, we had a client concept, meaning if a particular ECC system is there, in that e system in a login screen, we were entering the client which you are going to log in. We are specifying client as a mandatory field in a login screen. Along with client field, we are also specifying username and password. So what that used to do, when we log into a specific client, we were having a visibility to only those data pertaining to that particular client. So why this concept has been introduced by SAP? This has been introduced by SAP just to ensure or give a liberty to the customers of SAP that wherever if the uh, they have a budget crunch or uh, wherever they have a need for using a single SAP hardware to uh, make it to work in different databases. For example, there might be a, some small scale industry who is using SAP as their ERP system and uh, they don't have much budget to have dedicated SAP system for their development quality uh, or sandbox uh, or uh, pre-prod, right? So in that case, generally what they used to, for example, assume that we are ha uh, having a single hardware, but we wanted to use a, those single hardware for both our development and uh, quality environment, meaning we wanted to make that single system to behave like that. In that case, what the SAP basis people used to do, they used to create a two different uh, systems called uh, two different client in the same hardware or same SAP ERP system. One system they you are opening the developer option wherein we can use that as a development environment. Whereas other client we can use as a quality wherein the development uh, or the actual edit or change of the object is restricted in that particular system. Okay. Come on friends, let us understand the uh, tenant concept in our uh, HANA system. Let us look at uh, the tenant concept in HANA. So the tenant concept is similar to the client concept in uh, normal SAP ERP systems or SAP system. If there is a need for us uh, for having more than one database in an SAP HANA, we have two different options. One is single container database and another one is multi container database. Okay. So using these two, either we can go with uh, uh, different uh, implementation or a different uh, configuration based on the need. Again, it depends on uh, the kind of system which you are working. For example, if at all you are running a BW system on HANA, they predominantly will go with uh, the multi-container database approach. Whereas uh, many other cases, it depends on your use case or what your architect is going to take a decision, whether can we go with a single container or multi-container. Let us uh, try to understand how exactly the single container database look like and uh, how exactly the multi-container database look like. Okay. So moving on, single container database. The SAP HANA system of single container database exactly will have only one database. As you can see from this particular pictorial representation or the graph, I have an SAP system and it have only one database as their backend database and we call this kind of configuration as single container database. Okay, Meaning, a particular SAP HANA system ID will have only one database in the backend those kind of configuration are called single container database. Let us try to understand more in detail. Maybe in the next slide you will have a better idea. So a single container database can also be used in this configuration, meaning a multiple single container database systems can be installed on one physical host. What exactly is a physical host? As you can see from the screen, 
a physical host is a actual uh, the server or the physical hardware wherein which we use to install uh, the sap you know, ana system okay so we have a hardware or uh, hardware given by ibm or dell which uh, uh, meets all the sap's criteria but if the architect decide to go with multiple single container database system as we are aware a particular single container database a particular SAP HANA system one can have its own separate database, system 2 can have its own database, system N can have its own separate database and all the servers including index server will be having the separate uh, server or separate entities for each and every database. All these things are independent or data inside this is not visible here or data inside this will not be visible here and also each and every node or the separate single container database will have all separate resources nothing is shared over here except the physical hardware okay this is what the single container looks like let us see how can we uh, how the multi container uh, database looks like as you can see over here we can run several separate database simultaneously on one sap hana system earlier what we saw in a single container database is we had a separate hana system each system is having its own hana database and uh, this kind of on a, which is running on a single physical host whereas multi container database if you take we have separate database simultaneously on one sap hana system we can run several separate databases on one hana system meaning there is HANA system and inside HANA system you can have multiple databases. Each databases will have its own index server. This is very very important. Okay. So database 1 will have its own index server. Database 2 will have ind its own index server. Database N will have its own index server. Mostly the purpose of index server which you guys are all uh, might have already aware. It is used to manage the data or process the data. right? So since we have separate database, we will have separate index server. Rest of the resources, all other kinds of servers uh, or the resources will be used or common. A particular HANA system there are many resources index server will be there for each and every database separately except that all other resources are shared among different database which is there on that ana system okay this is multi container database clear guys also you might have noticed when you try to add the system to a multi container uh, system in your hana studio or eclipse uh, id right uh, you will see there is something called host name where you will enter the URL or uh, the IP address of your uh, along with the port uh, of your HANA system along with that you will enter the instance number if it is a single container database obviously a particular HANA system will have only one database right guys so we are very clear if you go with single container we don't have to enter any other properties except description but if I'm going with multi container the tenant database will also get enabled. If I just go back, if this particular HANA system is a multi container database, I can have multiple databases. Each database will have its own tenant database ID. Okay, so we will have to specify that. So, with that, we can configure multi container database in our HANA studio. Hopefully, as part of this short video, you guys got to know about uh, what exactly is this tenant concept in an uh, HANA database, what exactly is a single container HANA database, what exactly is a multi container HANA database, and how can we configure either single container or multi container uh, uh, system in your HANA studio. If at all you are looking for online training on SAP ABAP, BW, BW ABAP, BW on HANA, Native HANA, and HANA related SQL feel free to reach out to me on my mail id that is venugopalmn1988 at gmail.com you can also call me or whatsapp me on plus 91 followed by 973998 3992 thank you so much guys and have a good one